Hello and welcome to this PS Trace tutorial video. Today I would like to show you how you can manage a lot of peaks with the help of the um, peak window in PS Trace. So let's get right started with PS Trace. So I already loaded some um, square wave voltammograms and some of them have multiple peaks. Now I have a lot of curves, that means a lot of peaks. Um, I found the peaks then just with the automatic peak detection. If you want to know more about peak detection, you can watch our PS Trace tutorial video on that. Um, but today we just want to look at this button, which is the um, peak window. And here you get a window where you can see for each of your measurements, so you see these are the same measurements that you can find on the right side in the data legend, you can look up the peaks for each of the measurements. And for each peak, well, you will get the, the number of the peak, which is just the running number to identify it for this curve. Um, you get the potential, so where it is, the height, that means the difference between the baseline and, well, the peak itself. Um, the area, width, um, yeah, and some other information like the minimum slope, the sum of slopes, etc. Um, but what's especially interesting here is um, maybe you want to work with like all of these peaks. Maybe you just want to plot peak heights, etc. in Excel. So you think like, hmm, going through one peak one by one, that sounds like a lot of work. Well, what you can do is you can, well, so you can use this button. It says copy to clipboard and it will just copy the information that you see on the screen. However, if you uh, tap on this little arrow, you can also copy all to clipboard and that means it would take the information from all of the curves and uh, put it in your clipboard. Or you can copy all to Excel. Then you would take all this peak information and put it in an Excel file. And this is what we can see now here. How we have now for um, all of these measurements. Oh, there we go. There we go. Changing the size. And we also see where the files come from, etc. And we have for each of the curves now, each of the peaks, um, all of the data in one table. Now you can easily extract the peaks or information you would like to have and then use them for further data processing. Okay. Um, you can also, by the way, change here the criteria for the automatic peak search if you want to but you can also do this in this tab. So this is, uh, um, well, this is the same more or less. Um, oh no, so there's a difference, sorry, the automatic peak search here is uh, before you do the measurement and this is after you do the measurement. Um, yeah, I would say this is already everything I wanted to tell you about the peak search window. So I hope you enjoyed the video and if you would like to see more PS Trace tutorial videos, uh, go to our YouTube channel and maybe subscribe. Uh, don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn so you don't miss any of the updates we're posting there. So, thanks for watching and have a great day.